I'm offering you data science students who will do a research project for you for free. How do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I do Wikipedia at the School of Data Science at the University of Virginia. Here at the School of Data Science, we have graduate student research projects that start several times every year. In these projects, clients, organizations, you, uh, give real world problems to our students and they work on these problems for a year, eight months or so, uh, trying to address whatever challenge you give to them and they give you an answer. This could be a, a pilot project or a pilot tool that demonstrates some application of data science that might solve your needs. They can answer a question for you. The kinds of things that can be solved with machine learning, this is the research that we're teaching our students at the school. And if you give us a research project, they can do your research project for free. Uh, I'm gonna tell you some more about that. I'm gonna tell you what kind of research projects they do. I'm gonna say what kind of commitment we're asking of you and I'm going to tell you how to get more information about this. So the kinds of things that the students do, it has to be uh, machine learning oriented, it has to be a real problem. They would need for you to give them some kind of data set, a uh, large data set, and some of the information that the students are going to ask if they would choose to select your project is they want to know how, how big is your data set, how many rows does it have, they want to know how orderly or orderly it is, is it clean data, or are you going to ask them to sort out a lot of data sets, how structured is the data, and how, how clearly can you articulate your challenge. So if the students get to use the techniques that they're learning in their classes, then they're going to be happier with the project. Some of the other things that they want to know is, uh, really, is this project something that somebody's actually going to use and apply in the real world? If it's a real world, world problem, rather than something fuzzy that makes the students more enthusiastic about it. The other thing that the students would like is to have regular guidance throughout the term of their research about whether they're going in the right direction. Here in our school, we have faculty who can mentor the students on all aspects of data science. You don't need to know anything about data, although many people who submit projects do know something about data or machine learning. What we really need for you to do, if you know nothing about data at all, is if the students were to explain what kind of outcome they get, what the result of this project is going to be, you don't need to know what they're doing with the data. You just need to be able to recognize, yes, if you give us this outcome, that's the correct direction to be going in, or no, if you're going in this direction, we're not going to be able to use this kinds of result. And the students will want to check in. Uh, many, many of these research groups, they check in um, every other week for about an hour throughout an eight month term and they'll have questions by email that they send at other times. For most of the, the clients for these projects, they commit uh, four hours a month, so two hours in person and then two hours in email. Although depending on the client, they may have more setup time at the beginning. For example, if their data set's not in order and they need to package it up to give to the students, or if they need to orient the students to what kind of data, then getting the students off to a good start with a bit of extra time at the beginning, that helps a lot. So I said the capstone projects are free. That's not exactly true. Uh, I told you that I work with Wikipedia. I also work with free and open online projects, public data sets, open data. Uh, if your organization is working with open data, public benefit, nonprofits, uh, and you're willing to share the data in public, then we're able to waive the capstone fee. If you're a commercial organization and you're looking for this kind of uh, research or business applications, then we charge a fee for that. That's the way it works. Nonprofits get a break and other organizations, uh, they're making profit anyway. So they, they should contribute something to the student's education. If they're getting this kind of free labor for eight months, which is still a really good deal. If you want more information about this, there's different ways to do it. You can go to datascience.virginia.edu, look at our website and search for all the previous projects. There's portfolios of these kinds of things. We have frequently published the results of the projects as academic papers. You can check out some of the papers and read the kind of results that the students are getting. Uh, you can also drop into office hours. So throughout the year, we regularly host office hours for people who would pitch research projects, capstone projects to our students. 
And at these office hours, we'll have our research director, maybe a faculty member who can answer any, any kinds of questions. And if the question you want to ask, it's not something that they can uh, answer immediately, they'll refer you to someone and you can have conversations with somebody. All the, all the professors and faculty here in our school, they're ready to answer questions about these projects because they're important to what we do. Uh, our students need them and uh, we want to have good partnerships. It's, it's good to know that everyone's in agreement before the project begins and then that you're actually going to give the data to the students uh, so that everyone has a good project. Uh, the last way that I'm going to say that you can get more information about these projects is you're welcome to contact me. So some of the kinds of projects that I've overseen in the past with faculty of course is uh, using Wikipedia or Wikidata as a data set it's a large general reference resource and sorting it out can answer questions not just for Wikipedia's benefit but for other other projects. We've collaborated with large archives. Internet Archive is one that I'm very happy to have done past research with and various kinds of museums or libraries and cultural centers that have library catalog data sets that need to be sorted out in various ways students sort those out, return them to the institution, and it's easier to find what kind of knowledge they're holding. Uh, whatever it is, if you just want to talk about it, you contact me, contact our research director, say hello on the website. We're always looking for capstone projects. Thanks for your interest and ask if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.